What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Be a part of the biggest and best daily baseball show on YouTube. We need you on board, so hit subscribe, and without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Matthew Boyd, who had 8 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 4 runs. He had these fastballs and these nasty sliders. He faced Sonny Gray, who had 3 Ks in 4 innings, giving up 2 runs. He only went 4 innings because he had an uncharacteristic 4 walks. Gray did have these wicked sliders and sweepers, including this one to Baez that got him to chase. Javi usually has such great plate discipline, and usually doesn't chase, other than every single game. Christian Javier had two Ks in six scoreless innings, thanks to his elevated fastballs. He faced Mackenzie Gore, who had four Ks in five and two-thirds scoreless innings, thanks to his fastballs and curveballs. That curveball is a nasty pitch for him. He's got a 45% whiff rate on that curveball this season. Yusei Kikuchi had seven Ks in four and two-thirds innings, giving up two runs. He had this 96-mile-an-hour fastball and awesome K strut. Kikuchi's K struts make me so happy. Kikuchi dominated with a slew of breaking balls, changing speeds on him and getting a bunch of swords. And here's an overlay that shows you how Kikuchi's fastball and slider work together. And you can see how well they tunnel and why that's such a nightmare for hitters. He battled against Tyler Wells, who is also really good, with eight strikeouts and six and two-thirds innings, giving up only two runs and had these fastballs and sliders, including this painted slider, as well as this elevated cutter. Logan Allen didn't have a great game. He gave up five runs in three innings and had only two Ks, but one of those Ks was this one against Machado. And look at that swing on that first changeup. It kind of reminds me of that time he K'd against Chris Sale for the last out of the World Series. Aaron Nola had nine Ks in six and two-thirds innings, giving up four runs, and had this fastball but really picked up most of his Ks on filthy knuckle curves. And here's an overlay of his fastball and knuckle curve, so you can see just what makes that knuckle curve so tough, especially when paired with his fastball. Nola faced off against Ryan Nelson, who had five Ks in four innings, giving up five runs, and had this fastball, changeup, and cutter for a sword. Johan Oviedo had eight Ks in four and a third innings, giving up four runs, he blew hitters away with his upper 90s fastballs, including this one that touched 99 miles an hour, and also had this curveball. He battled Marcus Stroman, who had 5 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 2 runs. His ERA this year is 2.45, and Stroh got Ks on these sliders, this sinker, as well as this dirty split change. Shohei Otani only had 3 Ks in 6 innings, giving up 2 runs, he had this overpowering 99-mile-an-hour fastball and these sweepers, including this one that broke 17 inches back door. Shohei also made up for giving up two runs by hitting a two-run homer and remains king of the pitchers who rake club. He's now tied for the major league lead in home runs with 22. Just an absolutely ridiculous talent. He battled Nathan Ivaldi, who had nine Ks in seven innings, giving up three runs. Ivaldi had this fastball, as well as a ton of splitters. Those things are filthy, and he also painted with this cutter. A.J. smith Shaver had a very good outing with six strikeouts in five and two-thirds innings, giving up three earned runs. He had this nasty curveball, as well as these sick change-ups. It looks to be more like a split change, because he's definitely throwing them with a bit of a splitter grip. smith Shaver is only 20 years old. Another example of young talent on the bump in the majors. Smith Shaver was a two-sport athlete in high school and was recruited as a quarterback to Texas Tech. And here's a video of him throwing a football 80 yards in the air to Bobby Witt Jr. A very impressive young arm. Speaking of impressive young arms, Taj Bradley pitched yesterday and got his first nine outs via strikeout. Yep, he had nine Ks in the first three innings. He finished with 11 Ks in four and a third innings, giving up two earned runs. Bradley's fastball was up to 98 miles an hour, and he had 10 whiffs on his fastball. As you can see, those heaters keep their plane really well. He mixed in some sliders and curveballs, and here's an overlay of his fastball and curveball, and you can see how well he does tunneling them. Bradley is only 22 years old, and is another member of those young guns 
taking over Major League Baseball, and I love it. Speaking of young guns, Andrew Painter is back throwing bullpens, and I can't wait to see him up in the show soon. A 20-year-old future ace. And remember, Ayuri Perez was my filthiest pitcher of the day yesterday, and he's only 20 years old. Bradley faced off against Paul Blackburn, who had nine Ks in five and two-thirds innings, giving up two earned runs. He had this changeup, but really dominated with his breaking balls, getting 11 whiffs on these filthy things. A great outing by Blackburn. Michael Grove had seven Ks in five innings, giving up four runs, thanks to these sliders. And he battled yesterday's co-filthiest starting pitcher of the day, because I'm going to give half of it to Taj Bradley, Dylan Cease. Cease had 10 Ks in five and a third innings, giving up two runs on only four hits. His fastball was up to 97 miles an hour, and he had this wicked knuckle curve. But the story of the game was his slider. You might remember his last outing. I said it looked like his slider was starting to get back to form, and looks like I was right. He got 12 whiffs on his slider this game for a 57% whiff rate and picked up a bunch of swords with it. And here's an overlay that shows the anatomy of one of those swords. You have this 95-mile-an-hour fastball that runs back to the plate, and he tunnels it with this 87-mile-an-hour slider, which breaks away from the plate. And by the time you realize you're swinging at a slider instead of a fastball, well, it's too late to stop your swing, and there's the sword. Now onto my filthiest relievers. Kevin Kelly had this cutter and two-seamer. Alex Lang had this curveball. Jason Adam had this sweeper that broke 20 inches. That thing's filthy. Jason Foley had this 98-mile-an-hour two-seamer. Jose Soriano had these wicked curveballs. Yancy Almonte had this sweeper. Evan Phillips picked up four Ks thanks to his sweepers. Total Frisbees. Kyle Finnegan picked up three Ks on his 99-mile-an-hour heaters. Yanir Cano had this nasty slider. Sir Anthony Dominguez had this fastball and slider. Gregory Soto had this overpowering 99-mile-an-hour fastball. Pete Fairbanks had this filthy slider. And if you notice, Pete has a black eye. How'd he get that black eye, you ask? So we were playing in our, uh, our new house in the pool, and I pulled the pool basketball hoop down onto my face after dunking on a three-year-old to, you know, kind of teach him an early lesson in life that, you know, when you're in the paint, you cannot be caught underneath the rim. An all-time great sports injury. Felix Bautista had his fastball up to 102 miles an hour, as well as this nasty splitter. Dre Jameson had these sliders, curveball, and 98-mile-an-hour heater. Michael Tomkin had 6Ks, picking up his first career save, and threw three and a third scoreless innings. A heck of an outing by Tomkin. Emmanuel Classe had this fantastic sequence, where he throws this 98-mile-an-hour cutter back door that is perfect, except it's not called a strike. So what does he do? He gets angry and then throws this amazing 102-mile-an-hour cutter. Holy freaking crap. But my filthiest reliever of the day yesterday was Nate Pearson. Pearson absolutely obliterated hitters with this 101 and 102-mile-an-hour heat and sliders and also obliterated baseball bats. He is a bad man. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. Jesse Chavez got hurt the other day by taking this comebacker off his shin and had to be carried off the field. Ouch. Luckily, x-rays were negative. So what did the Braves do? They mocked up a Jesse Chavez in the bullpen, complete with a bandage on his shin. Just another example of why baseball is awesome. What is up, everybody? I've got some great news for you. Today is a 50% Pitching Ninja Profit Boost Token Day at FanDuel. You get a 50% Profit Boost on any MLB straight bet. I'm going to use my Profit Boost to take Michael Kopech to be the Daily Strikeout Leader on the FanDuel Daily Strikeout Leader K-Prop. My parlay of the day is a three-leg parlay. I'm going to take Michael Kopech for 8Ks or more and take Sandy Alcantara for 5Ks or more. Top it off with Ty Walker for 5Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? 